Hi everyone, so today I'm just going to give you a bit of an insight into how I would set my decoys up, my hide up, that sort of thing. Basically set a day up pigeon shooting. Um, just shooting over some collie, um, not masses getting on it, but should be a good, good chance to uh, show you my sort of setup um, and how I get the birds in. Um, as I said, not going to be a big bag, but hopefully we shoot 40 or 50 odd. Um, be quite happy with that as we've got some uh, next lot of collie going in here next week. So... Uh, even just a few pigeons soon do some damage on a new crop like that. Um, I haven't set up till about two o'clock, probably shoot till about half seven. Um, quite a nice day, quite still. So not ideal for pigeon shooting, um, but we'll see how we go. So this is just a two man hide. Um, when I've got two people in a hide, as I had a cameraman in the afternoon, I just have a divider down the middle, which stops any birds that are flying over high or long and wide, seeing down and seeing the person on the opposite side of the net. Um, so really simple with the nets, dark net along the backstop and your silhouette, then a nice light net around the front that blends in quite well with the cauliflower. So just a really simple explanation of uh, how I set the decoys up and why I set them in the position I do. So I watched this field the evening beforehand uh, just to get an idea of where the birds were coming from, what kind of numbers they were coming in. Um, and just where would be a good position to put the hide. So this line here represents sort of the border between the open field and where the cauliflower and cabbage is. Um, I knew looking on the weather forecast, the wind was going to be coming slightly off my right hand side. It was a real gentle breeze, so not ideal for shooting, but the birds were always still going to favour coming and landing into the wind. Uh, knew the flight line was one line was coming in straight in front of me and one line was coming in off my left, both out of local woods. Um, but the more important thing really is here from that, knowing where to put my decoys and where to put the whirly and where to put the hide in relation to that. So that's this bit here. What I'm looking for there is this square box represents my hide. The whirly is represented by this X and the rough outline of where the decoys are going to be is this line around here. Um, reason being, the majority of my birds are coming from in front and from the left, a slight breeze from the right. So what I want to do is get those birds moving in from the left, channeling in up the decoys, but they're always going to head up towards the whirly as it's moving uh, in the decoys. So what I want to be doing is putting myself in a position between the line that they're coming in, like a nice exact line, and then just, because the whirly's off to my right, slightly offset, they're going to keep on moving up towards that. A lot of people always say you want your whirly nice and far out so that birds are coming over it and then coming to land into the decoys. In my opinion, this just really doesn't work because you want the birds coming into the whirly. If, they've, if the whirly was out here, say, somewhere, the birds are going to come in off this line, get to the whirly, work out that something's up and then veer off and the birds are still out of range. By placing it here, the birds have got to come in in range the whole time of where I am. And by allow, putting it right by the hide here, it allows me to, when the birds are coming in in groups, rather than just kill one bird on the edge of the decoys, let them come in, kill the first bird and sometimes whenever possible, kill the second as well. So just creating a pattern now uh, to give you an idea of where the hide is. It's just behind the camera on the left hand side. So the whirly up first, two dead birds uh, from a previous day. Um, and then just some plastic decoys as I didn't have enough uh, dead birds to use in the pattern. Um, always prefer to use dead birds really if possible. Just a bit more realistic. Um, and this is the whirly. So important thing with them, for me with the whirly is... I will arc the birds as far over as I possibly can. Um, so they show you plenty of the white on the wings. This just allows birds to see them from much further away. Looks more realistic um, and gives you a greater chance of shooting a few pigeons.
Just to give everyone an idea of what we're shooting over, got probably 100 yards of collie behind us um, and a little strip of cabbage in front. Um, all the collie sort of just about going to flower, as you can see. Pigeons really like it at this sort of stage. So another really important one on a day like this for me is uh, making sure the dog's got plenty of water. Real hot day, especially when he's got a lot of cover to pick up in. It's not easy for him. So as you can see, there's, Christ knows how much, probably seven, eight litres of water at least for him. So whenever he wants it, it's there. Um, last thing I want is him being tired on a day like this when he's got to pick it up in thick cover like that. So with this bird here, it's been shot, towered up, and then dropped and hit the ground, but still flying pretty well, quite capably. Um, this normally happens when a bird's just had one pellet through the eye normally. So I put the dog on it straight away. As the dog's got to him, he's run into it too quickly. The bird's got up and flown again, disorientated. Luckily enough for us, it's flown back towards us. Um, so we could pr quickly dispatch it as seen there. Just for anyone wanting to know uh, what sort of gun cartridges I'm using, shooting the same Bretta 694 I shoot all my clays with. Uh, exactly the same chokes, three quarters of both barrels. And cartridge wise, normally on the pigeons, I'd shoot the whole super fast pigeon. Um, unfortunately, I'm out of stock of them at the moment with everything that's gone on. So instead, I'm using up a few of these uh, Sovereign six and a halves 
designed as sort of like a long range clay cartridge. Um, but they are absolutely perfect on the pigeons. Good boy. Get on, get on. Lad, come on in. Good boy. Good lad. Here. Dead. Get on. Come on. Out. We're done. You're something else. Come on in. Hopefully it's given you all a bit of an insight into how I set the day up. Um, hopefully it helps a few people out.